I don't think people quite understand the devastation that still occurs, is, is still happening today, you know, almost three weeks after Hurricane Sandy. They need more hands, they need more, you know, monetary funds, they need more contributions than I think people actually realize because it's not a lot of public attention that's being brought here. We're here today just helping volunteer. We've got about, you know, a couple hundred volunteers here today. We've had, you know, hundreds and hundreds of them over the last couple of weeks. Uh, we've teamed up today with Tyson Chandler. And you know, just coming in the morning, I know, uh, you know, it's, it's bigger than the game, it's bigger than, you know, we got, we got in at 7 o'clock uh, this morning, uh, no sleep, but I really wanted to be here, you know, I, I think it's special, I think it's special how the community is coming together, and I just wanted to come and do anything that I could possibly do to help. We're here in the community center doing everything we can to uh, help those people in Far Rockaway who have been displaced, uh, lost items and clothing or food. Uh, most of these people in and around the area are 200% below the poverty line, so they were kind of, in a sense, starting from behind in the beginning, and they lost everything, and most people haven't been able to go to work because they, their, their schools have been closed down and haven't been able to take care of their kids. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to get them, you know, food, water, pampers, some cleaning supplies to clean out their homes. And uh, the Chandler family's been amazing. Uh, they've been working with us here at Hillsong and trying to get as many goods here as possible. Uh, and there's about a thousand people outside, and we're just trying to get them in. And we've been doing it almost every day. We've been serving anywhere from a couple hundred to over a thousand people a day. The daily needs, um, including cleaning supplies, personal hygiene down to clothing, you know, blankets, shoes, all of the above. Every quintessential, everyday need, that's what they're struggling with. We've got a massive relief effort going on here, and it's been really wonderful. Um, we've, uh, today we've got, you know, kind of brought in a lot of partner with diapers.com and, and some other folks to just, you know, bring in stuff, Nike and, and other companies to kind of bring in food and supplies and stuff. But, you know, for us, the, the effort is not just now, the immediate need, which we're meeting, which is really, really important, but it's, it's after that's all done and when the people really need it and you know they're going to be rebuilding their lives for a long time and the Chandler family and its foundation and Hillsong New York City we, we intend on staying here and rebuilding this place uh, from the ground up if necessary. Just say hello. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. How are you? 14. Right over there, you hooping? Good, good. Keep at it, all right? Just look in there. That'll be somewhere you'll be able to see. Wait, don't take a picture. When you get to the NBA, take it easy on me, all right? Just give me a hug. And I want to thank you and say God bless you. Thank you. All right, guys. All right, brother. Keep it up, man. Definitely. You know, it means a lot. Whoever come out here and help. You know, you see the people obviously need help, and uh, you know it's just, it's just good to be able to come out and help. You know, you know, you know they're going through a lot of tough things right now. We all just got to come together and do do what we can to play our part. We're trying to do everything we can, and these people are in need. You know, and we're in Queens. We're 35 minutes outside the biggest city in the world. I'm in Queens, New York. It's crazy that these people are still struggling like this. We're in Queens. What's happening in Far Walkway is certainly not a quick fix. This is something that's going to be ongoing, God knows for how long. And we just hope that people will continue to come and support the community and help to rebuild it.